good behavior, Cruz will be eligible for parole in four years. Now, here's a shocking sight. People at a hairdressing salon wearing gas masks. Why? Well, some say the chemicals used in certain hair strengthening products can actually be dangerous. Is the quest for beautiful hair putting people at risk? Lisa Guerrero and the iSquad have an eye-opening investigation. Why are these New York hairdressers and their clients wearing gas masks? That's right, gas masks when using a popular hair treatment. In Portland, Oregon, these hairstylists say fumes from another popular hair treatment made them sick. Burning eyes, um, wheezing, dryness of the eyes, and a, a bloody nose. Chest pain lasting a couple days. It's called the Brazilian blowout. Treatments start at $350, but women love it because it takes curly, frizzy, wavy hair and turns it into smooth, sexy, straight hair, and it lasts for months. But now the question is, What's in it? The label states the product is formaldehyde-free. Formaldehyde is a chemical that has been linked to lung cancer and leukemia. But government officials say tests show that Brazilian blowout has significant levels of formaldehyde. I was blatantly lied to, and then if I'm lied to, I'm lying to my clients. There's no trust there. We're not doing any more Brazilian blowouts in the salon. Many salons across the country have now stopped offering the treatment, which takes 90 minutes to apply to the hair and is then heated with a blow dryer and flat iron. In New York, salon owner Mark Garrison no longer uses it and now even requires his stylists and customers to wear gas masks for similar types of treatments. I care. I'm going to take every effort to create a safe environment if we're going to do this stuff. Is Brazilian blowout safe? Absolutely. Brazilian blowouts Mike Brady insists the product is formaldehyde free and claims the government's tests are flawed. My problem is how they're misleading the public. However, he points out even those tests show air quality falls within government standards when Brazilian blowout is used. Hey, who's here to make money? This is a Brazilian blowout sales rep on hidden camera at a training session in Charlotte, North Carolina. Listen to what he says stylists should tell clients who ask about formaldehyde in the product. So I know that an apple that contains twice as much. Broccoli has about four times as much, just broccoli. That's just patently false. Scientist Renee Sharp of the Environmental Working Group in Berkeley, California, says the apple and broccoli comments are just ludicrous. But there's more. Listen to what he says is the active ingredient in Brazilian blowout. Methylene glycol is, is one that we use. A chemical called methylene glycol. Methylene glycol is essentially formaldehyde. But don't just take her word for it. Federal guidelines clearly state that another term for formaldehyde is, you guessed it, methylene glycol. I would like to see that because methylene glycol, methylene glycol and formaldehyde, completely different structure. As you can see clearly there, they say it is synonymous with formaldehyde. Okay, it's inaccurate. So they're wrong. They are. What would you say to those consumers that are concerned about Brazilian blowout? Call up your stylist and make an appointment. Well, the California Attorney General recently sued Brazilian Blowout, claiming the company failed to disclose that the product contains the toxic ingredient formaldehyde. We'll be back with more Inside Edition after this. Still to come.